Good afternoon, Stephen. Hi, you may have heard about the tornadoes out west yesterday, and those are going to start to shift east, or at least the potential for severe weather. Actually, up until yesterday, we had zero tornadoes in the state from January all the way through April, and then the preliminary counts coming in at 12 just on May 1st. So this is a dangerous storm system, and the entire system is moving our way. Here's one of the tornadoes north of Salina. Not the greatest tornado potential here, but there is certainly some. Here's the view from the Storm Prediction Center. A much larger, moderate risk for severe weather is in play. That includes Topeka. We will continue to monitor this threat over the next couple of hours. Now, let's start SVTV. Here's your anchors. Hey, Vikes. Today we have a girls' soccer story and more information on the education bill. I'm Allie. I'm Haley, and you're watching SVTV. The governor signed an important bill here last month. Let's go check it out. Just a few weeks ago, history was made in our building. The governor signed a bill allowing more funding to go towards our education. It's going to put more money into Kansas schools, so that's for more teachers, better salaries, and more equipment. And we do that over about a five-year period of time. It also, though, encourages reform in schools so that we can make sure that you have the best schools and that you know, Kansans can grow. In front of our Seaman High School student body, the governor signed the bill. After the signing, we gave the governor a Viking farewell. Go Vikings! Sounds really cool. Now for your announcements. Seniors will check in their laptops from May 15th through the 17th after completing their last final that uses technology. Underclassmen will do the same from May 22nd through the 24th. Prior to check-in, all students need to do the following. Seniors, in order to receive your cap and gown, all fees must be paid or have arrangements needed to be made. See Ms. Olson in the front office if you need to make a payment or arrangement. Online payments can still be made as well. Applications for the Flint Hills Riding Camp are due Friday. Make sure to turn those in. Students interested in auditioning for SHS players need to find Diva today and pick up an, or an audition form. Auditions are after school. Now we're to Haley with sports after this quick commercial break. Who are you? I'm a genie. You look like you need some fresh new gear. Scruff, 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 scruff. Where can I get all this gear? Well, Ethan, if you like some more fresh gear, make sure you stop by the North Snook this Friday, which is April 20th. What if I'm a girl? Scruff. This summer, Flint Hills Writing Project is hosting a three-day Words Matter writing camp for high school students interested in developing their skills as a writer. Participating students will explore the importance of documenting their stories. The camp will take place on June 6th to the 8th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Brown vs. Board of Education building. Applications are due on May 4th. Spots are filling up fast, so apply soon. On Monday at the Centennial League Golf Meet, senior Bryce Cowan battled through tough, windy conditions at Shawnee County Club to earn first team All-League in honors with a fifth place finish. The golfers are back in action today, wrapping up their regular season in the Junction City Invitational at Rolling Meadows Golf Course. Congratulations to the top finishers at the Washburn Royal JV track meet. The Lady Bikes Swim and Dive team had a great showing at the Topeka High Invite yesterday. Girls Soccer has had a great season so far. Let's go learn more about it. 
Girls soccer season is at its peak, so we decided to talk to some new players to see how they like high school soccer. We also learned more about the sport and how it's going so far this year. We've been going pretty good. Uh, our, rec our record now is three and four, and I think that as the season goes on, we'll continue to get a lot better and just more chemistry and everything, and I think we'll be going good. The season's been pretty good so far. Um, our last game's when we had to wash from rule and you know we took pretty hard losses but we're gonna get better from here and we're just gonna build up and we have three games next week and good things are gonna happen. The season's going pretty good. We're three and four and we've had like really hard competition so far and but like together we've been playing pretty good I'd say. As a new player, it can be intimidating to join a new high school sport, but their love for soccer kept these players involved. I especially like high school soccer, how like close all of us girls are. It's better to like be really close with a lot of people than like have a team that has like no connection and then when you're on the field nothing's happening, but we're all really close and can joke around but can also get the job done. I enjoy the relationships and just getting to meet new people and getting to play like the sport that we all love and we all relate because you know we all play the same sport. I hope to accomplish just getting better and also having more wins. Well last year I'm pretty sure they won regionals so I hope that we can get there again and we're trying to make it into the state tournament. All the girls are working really hard to accomplish their goals. Please support them by coming to the next home game and make sure to wish them luck at regionals. Good luck to the Lady Vikes on Friday at their game at Hummer against Topeka High. Now over to Josh with the weather. Of course, with the red alert, now we have the tornado watch just put out from the Storm Prediction Center. This goes until 10 p.m. for a large swath of Kansas, all the way from southwest, south central, much of central, and then into northeastern Kansas. This is a threat we'll be watching over the next several hours. Here's a little bit more on the timing today. 83 degrees for the high with those severe storms around. But the clouds could break up over the next couple of hours. So if you're heading out around 3 o'clock and you start to see some peaks of sunshine, don't know. That does not mean we're out of the storm risk. In fact, that may increase the storm risk a little bit as the sunshine will help fuel that instability. And then storms are more likely as we head towards the early and middle evening hours before falling back down into the 70s. And here's a look at some of the ingredients we need. CAPE, which is the available energy in the atmosphere, is extreme with over 3,000 joules per kilogram. Moisture is also there. You feel the mugginess out there. Dew points approaching 70 degrees. And here's a look at the timing of the storms. Notice they develop right where that tornado watch is and then spread into our area uh, through, I think, about 6, maybe 6, 7 o'clock is when those really start to ramp up. So here's the hazards we're looking at. The most likely is going to be wind, could be around hurricane force or even a little bit stronger than the borderline for that. But a tornado, hail, and flooding are all possible as well. We could see a good couple of inches of rain out of this, depending where the heaviest storms set up. But we're not done. Here's, again, a closer look at the hazards. Winds upwards of 70 miles per hour. Hail probably not giant like we saw yesterday here, but still could be up to golf ball, which can be a, uh, produce a lot of damage and that chance of a tornado. But we're not done. Here's the outlook for today. Again, that large, moderate risk swath. And then tomorrow, we stay with this as it's looking that it's going to be moving slower now, this whole system. So while the best chance will be towards Kansas City, we stay in the slight risk. And that means another risk. Tornado, wind, and hail will all be in the slight category tomorrow with those risks accordingly. Again, chance of a tornado, damaging winds, a little bit less of a concern with, again, hail, the golf ball-sized hail s s possible. The best timing for this, though, will be earlier, probably when we're getting out of school in that time range. And now for your SVTV seven-day forecast, you can see that after a stormy next couple of days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, much nicer, much quieter, and then continued warm weather. No, I think winter is officially, officially gone, and we could be looking at some more active weather returning to the middle portions of next week. Today in history, it's National Truffle Day and Life Insurance Day. Now, Allie and Haley, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a tip-top rest of your day. Just bounce through this.